Yo, it's me, DPC, and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my tutorial on how to create a fire, a fire flame as Pokemon border for your videos. Now, not only new YouTubers, even older YouTubers, or if you're in the middle, uh, basically, we we want to create something that looks really good for our Pokemon videos, right? And in this video, I'm going to show you something that looks it's basic it's simple but it has a nice little pop and has good accents to it as well so definitely buckle in subscribe if you're new share the video with your friends and let's get into it so for this tutorial what you're gonna need is Photoshop and Camtasia those are the only two applications that you will need to create a super fire flame as border all right <laughs> all right so going into it let's just get, go ahead file and if you follow these steps if you follow every step that I'm doing, you will create a fire flame as border. So when you're doing, when you're creating this, make sure you create the width uh, 12. Let's uh, turn on number lock 1280 by 720 because that is YouTube's dimension. Here we are. We have a our basic template here, and what we want is a background, and it's very key that we select the background. Uh, this is my Fortnite edits. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Um, <laughs> it's very key that we select a background that has a lot of, you know, kind of accents what we're going to do. So for this background, the game I'm going to be choosing. Oh, and if it locks, just just segue a little bit over to this to, to this topic. Because it's locked, we uh, have to double click the lock key at the bottom and it'll unlock it for, and be able to move this item or this picture so we move this over here and expand it out so yes like I was saying you want something to pop and the game I'm going to be using is Pokemon Blaze Black as an example as you can see here I have it here in, inside of the uh, folder so you want something that's going to pop you want something that's going to basically accent the game um, you know if it's man I don't know Volt White or whatever the case may be maybe something red with like a red background and things you know stuff stuff to that nature so we're going to bring this over. Oh, it doesn't want to move. Oh, let's check it off and move it into this one. All right. So I want to adjust this to where I want the radiance to come from the bottom here. Because well, why not? And perfect. Hit that. So what we're going to do to make sure they kind of blend together and look nice. I'm going to lower the opacity on this, which is basically the, ab the ability to see through. Uh, Yeah, that's that's good. I like that a lot. It's a little bit to be the the ability, <laughs> the ability to see through uh, the uh, the two layers here. And what I also want to do is I want to change the color of this background image so that it kind of gives it a little bit of a pop. So I like a color overlay. So let's do a black black color overlay on that. I like that a lot. And if we're trying to make it show a little more, what we can also always do is just lower the fill on this a little bit. And let's see. Now let's keep the fill where it is. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's actually lower the this on here. Yeah, let's lower this to about 56. Actually, what I'm gonna do, hmm, I'm gonna give this more of a. I'm gonna give this a color overlay as well. All right, yeah, because to be honest, I want it to be a little darker, so it's not too strong, but it's there. Uh, let's see, let me remove the color from this and see how it looks. Not nah, like that. I like how dark that is. Okay, perfect. So now we have our background set. Now you're probably wondering how your screens are gonna look, you know, what accents you have to throw on your screen and things like that, but I'm gonna show you really quickly how to do that. So I'm gonna create a do, do, do your first screen so in order to do that I don't want stroke on this in order to do that you're gonna open your panel here this should be op open on your Photoshop go down to shapes or the rectangle tool whatever the case may be you can switch it here into different shapes but we're going with the rectangle and we're just gonna quickly create a square let's see let's go with that's a decent size cool so it's black I don't I don't really mind top screen and then we're going to duplicate the layer, name it bottom screen. Boom. Those are our top and bottom screen. Easy, right? But we want to make it look good, right? We want to make it look appealing to the viewer's eyes. So I'm going to drop this down here. Let's actually pull out the ruler. To pull out the ruler, hit a uh, view. 
and rulers which is right here so control R and I want to drop it down here to make sure I have a good measurement of uh, shapes so I like the way this looks but I think I want the top screen to be to be a little bit smaller for what I'm about to show you guys now here's where you can become creative you can change the size you can change the angle or not the angle but the you know you can play with different things right because the whole point of this is basically to create your own but watching my tutorial will also give you an insight on how I do it as well so I have these two screens here but I want to add a little bit more pizzazz to it so what I'm actually gonna do is duplicate this lit dupl duplicate this this uh, top bottom screen top screen whatever and I'm gonna name this uh, badges and I'm gonna do something that you know it's simple it's easy but it looks good right this it looks it looks like I it's a crazy it's, it's gonna be crazy just just buckle in you'll see what I'm talking about so on top of here I'm gonna put my badges now a lot of this isn't typical right you put the badges down here you put it up here or somewhere at the side some youtubers have it here at the bottom but I'm gonna actually put it at the top of the screen and what I'm about to do next is gonna blow your mind okay so it's slick it comes straight down at the bottom boom boom okay perfect I like that I like that a lot all right a really good way to interact with your subscribers is always having a, a question of the day bar um that's also really good to have so what i'm going to do is duplicate the bottom screen again and we're going to name this q o t d and we're going to call call this one question of the day and we're just going to scrunch it up like that move it up like that these are all this is all just really quick edits like you know this is nothing too crazy um oh no don't do that <laughs> this is nothing too crazy you know it's just it's honestly really quick it's simple it's easy to do all right so that's what the base of it looks like now it's time to play around with the colors a little bit so that we have a more appealing uh appealing um appealing t uh, border template so let's head over here to my folder again and i'm going to actually grab this logo and this is going to be very important that you do download a logo or something specific specific to your the game that you want to play so i'm going to grab my bottom screen here and i'm going to go into my blending options and i'm going to hit color overlay and right now it's on red but once you go into color overlay and we hit uh the little uh square box here which is basically the color we can actually select parts of this and uh and make it basically the color of this something like that yeah that's really dope i like that color a lot again you can play with this you can figure out your own little niche whatever you're looking for you can you can figure that out if you want to do something different by all means definitely do but this is going to be something that uh, i think is going to look really good so in terms of this i actually want to do a white color overlay and the reason i'm going to do a white color overlay is because i can control the brightness of it and darkness of it a lot easier so I have this and I also want to make my badges that color as well. So I'm going to paste layer style. And if you follow all these steps, I'm telling you, you'll have a fire ass border by the end of this. All right. So now we're going to grab the layer here and we're going to move this around. This is going to become very important. So now I have this huge space here and I want to fill it. How am I going to fill that? I'm going to grab my, uh, let's see, let's see. I actually have something that I'm going to use. Okay. So I'm here inside of my Pokemon Heart Gold file, um, and I've created something a little prior to this. It's a little premeditated, but I created a uh, basically a Pokemon, my own custom Pokemon logo. I just changed the color palettes on the outside of it. Um, and excuse me, if you watch my Pokemon the Sacred Gold uh, Let's Play, you'll see that on top of the uh, top screen. So I'm actually gonna click uh, copy. A duplicate group because it's all in one group and I'm gonna duplicate it onto my Pokemon border template and that group is gonna be in there now I don't want this sick of gold parts so what I'll do is open up the file uh, get rid of all that so all we have is the Pokemon uh, the Pokemon file which is really good so next what I want to do is make this look like you know these are together but I want to bring the blaze black to the forefront
So one thing I've also done is within these groups, I have uh, I have each layer that I've made of basically the Pokemon logo. So I'm going to click on this, my blending options, and I have a color overlay. As you, as you can see, the gold will be the gold cover, cover overlay here. And you can always go into these files, guys, and you guys can actually edit these. This is, this is for you. I'm going to put the, uh, the link the download link below so um what you got to do is just click here and again the same thing i did before as i grab the layer or the colors that's what i'm going to do here and again guys this is just basic like you can definitely edit yourself and yeah I, i'm just going to keep reiterating that because <laughs> this this isn't necessarily supposed to match what you think it's supposed to look i mean it can but uh either way either way all right let's neither here nor there so we have our fire ass logo there, right? We have our logo set in, we have our bottom screen, we have our top screen, and we have our our uh, crushing of the day screen. Now you're probably wondering, how do YouTubers cut out like the screen? So I'm gonna show you guys how they do that. All right, so what we're gonna do is deselect these. We're gonna deselect that. And I'm actually gonna select the top screen layer. I'm gonna click this right here, and this is basically gonna be your outlining tool. Your, it's called a rectangular marquee tool, or is it yeah the, right yeah rectangular marquee tool and uh i'm gonna put it right here in the corner let's zoom in actually a little more to 100. let's do 100. all right and i'm gonna go right here in the corner you can even do you can honestly pull out the ruler and measure it up but i'm just gonna eyeball it and uh shoot let's do right there cool 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 and hit backspace and it'll delete it it's supposed to so let's say you're having that problem right let's say when you try to delete it, it actually doesn't delete it fully so what you're gonna do is hit layer you're gonna go into do to do, do rasterize it raster <laughs> rasterize and hit shape and it's gonna make it a layer that you can edit hit backspace and boom there you have it it's completely cleared out so let's say you see how i have my badges here and i want i want it gone i don't want this little piece here same thing with the badges because we're going to run into that problem again go into rasterize and then we're going to hit shape and same thing so now we have that going as well cool 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 we have that now next up what we want to do is create a hole in our screen for our bottom layer boom that looks it looks great already like I, I can already picture the screens being there all right so now we're gonna da, 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 shorten this and we're gonna bring back all our screens all right so really quick before i forget i actually have to cut out what's behind here as well because i want to be able to show you guys the screens because the screens are going to come out through the transparent background so what we need to do is actually merge these two groups together these two items together so what we're going to do is go down here create a folder and drop these two layers inside now once you merge these together you cannot edit these so make sure this is the background that you want so we're going to merge them together like that and then we're going to backspace and there you have it there's a hole in the screen now and this is the hole you're going to use to put your actual gameplay and everything else same thing we're going to do on this end we're just going to outline here Boom, boom. and to move this shape thing just press down on your on your in your d-pad on your keep on your keyboard and hit delete there you go next up what we want to do is create little boxes for our pokemon so what we're going to do is actually duplicate this layer as well don't worry it looks a little confusing and i know but once i once i finish this up i'm going to organize it for you guys um Pokemon box. I'm just gonna call this Pokemon box. I'm gonna, I'm gonna organize it for you guys so it's more accessible and it looks really good. Just do one. And we're gonna keep duplicating the layers. Here, just duplicate. We're gonna do five duplications because the first one is our original copy. And we're just gonna move it over here. Boom. Fourth one. Boom. Third one. Boom. You can mess around with it a little bit. Again, with the D-pad, you can actually nudge it with your D-pad with the little arrow keys on your uh, on your computer. All right, and we're back. So really quick, I, well, I did is just 
lay it down six of them right here as you can see they're small they're easy to see and they're they're gonna be really they're gonna be really nice once i put, put some edits into it while well, i was off screen i actually did a little bit of edits uh to this uh to this bottom screen and what i did is actually lay down a gradient overlay and look at that look how look how much nicer it looks with it on there um what i did was just hit gradient turn this all the way up color lay i brought down a little bit and as you can see it's all dependent on how you want it to be i think right there with like a light nice little light right there perfect that looks great that looks great so i want to do the same thing with this top one uh but i actually want to bring out the gray a little more in it to make it look a little better because we're going to accent a lot of our colors here we're going to bring a lot of we're going to a lot of our colors are going to have gray in it right now so we're going to give it that nice light gray or dark gray and we're going to copy layer style and we're going to paste it on our do, 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 where is it where is it uh do, 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 badges where are my badges there it is on our badges perfect perfect so what i'm going to actually do to create a contrast inside the inside of this thing i'm actually going to make another layer here it's going to be another square and just to contrast it to make it look good i'm going to drop it right in there all right perfect and da, 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 we're gonna give this layer some type of color. We're actually gonna give it blue. We're actually gonna give it the same blue that we're gonna use in here. Perfect. Boom. And to give it a little bit more of a pop, same thing. We're gonna la land a little bit of gradient in there. Gradient and inner shadow. Let's drop the distance, raise the choke, raise the size. You see how it creates like a, a like shadowing effect inside? I like that was uh cool, 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 cool. Again, this is really simple, it's easy to do. Alright, so I'm back. I went on the internet and I grabbed up some uh some badges really quick to show you guys how to do this. So open it up, uh select this with the rectangular marquee tool, hit this, and just gonna drag it over here to the template, place it there, shrink it down the size, and boom boom maybe a little more i think that's good just drag it down a little more and what we're gonna do is right click it blending options and let's see let's actually hit a uh, color overlay let's make it a maybe like a grayish like a really dark gray almost black you can honestly make it the same color as our border here right like that and then hit inner shadow which is going to be black and we can increase the distance like you know depending on how you want our choke on it you know stuff like that and boom really simple really easy boom so i have here uh a quick little ev card that i got from online i typed in ev trading card and it's here so what i'm going to do is basically select this why not just select the whole card or not the whole card, but pretty much the whole image here. Uh, I wouldn't typically do this, but I mean, we could do this for the, yeah, yeah, it might look good. Let's just see what happens. So we're gonna select it like that, take it out of its frame, bring it over here, and then drag it somewhere here. So we're gonna zoom in. Let's do 100 again. So we're gonna shorten the, yep, like that. And you can play around, play around with this, customize it to how you want it to look. Again, this is going to be really basic. What I'm actually going to do is change the color on this box. All right, so to change the color, what I'm going to do is actually... Do, 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 I actually did a little bit of it off screen, but let me actually show you guys. So I clicked this right here at the bottom just to match the color of the border. And I uh, changed the color of this, like, change the color of the first box here. And then what I'm gonna do is go to gradient overlay and I'm gonna lower it down a little bit. So it kind of looks a little like, you know, has like a contrasting look to it. Not too much, but just a little bit. Just do, do, do. And it looks really simple, but trust me, when you when you bring it all together, it, uh, it, it, makes, it makes a huge difference. So in this case, I'm just gonna select here. Mm -mm. Cut that piece off. 
do this and trim this piece off as well all right so i'm using the marquee tool i'm selecting uh i'm selecting part of the image mind you the layer select and i'm just hitting delete and it deletes it so this is kind of weird right it's just popping out there what you want to do is go into inner shadow and look at that it falls into the actual picture honestly i'm just gonna leave it like that it looks really good like that question of the day stuff uh it's optional so for that i mean listen all you got to do is the same thing i did here let me actually do it really quick to show you guys uh let's see you have this selected we're gonna duplicate this duplicate duplicate layer we're gonna drag it over here we're gonna spread it out like so do do all right easy boom and i'm gonna i want to color the, i want to copy that color pa palette actually so where's the question of the day down here and we're gonna go here into blending options we're gonna select color overlay color here and we're gonna select that color boom simple easy basic it's nothing too crazy mind you all these rectangles here you don't even have to have selected when you're actually playing your game you can honestly deselect them so let's get rid of these here and what's the last one this one here and boom there is your template simple easy now let's get to editing this motherfucker <laughs> let's get to editing it I will see you guys there really quick um before we actually head into that i did a little bit of an edit what i did was uh go to my top screen or your top screen when you're editing it go to blending options and then i did a gradient overlay now when i did that it kind of created see this effect where it merged these two you see how if i without it does this so this is just an option for you this is what i'm going to include for the template down below and I increased the opacity to, or decreased it to 32. And I kept it at that. What I did was then copy the layer style. Now scroll up, if you, and exactly, if you copy exactly what I'm doing, you'll come out with a super fire, super fire template or border, whatever you want to call it. Go to badges, go to blend. Oh, wait, before I do that, copy or paste layer style. Go to blending options. And what we're gonna do is reverse the gradient and then it does it reverse so it merges these two together like that all right for sure i'm going to catch you guys in the uh, editing portion